All right, Declan White, uh, congratulations on your win here at the uh, Victoria Run Series. Okay, thank you very much. 3,000 meters. Yeah. So, can you take me through the race? Um, so, beginning of the race, I decided to you know what, um, I'm going to just go out hard, see what I have, see what I have in me, like really test myself today because like, I'm not going to get another, I'm not going to get a lot of races in the season before the real racing starts, the tactical stuff, so just like a kind of a weekend to just like, had a pretty good solid week of training and just like get out here and like see what I can do, so I went out pretty hard, went out 63, and then the wind started to catch up with me, so I was like, oh, this is going to be tougher than I thought, but I just like hung in there, so I went 63, probably 66, and I held 66s for quite a while, and the pack behind me, I didn't think they were going to come up behind me, but they came up and they like caught up to me. Uh, Peter Krogan passed me, so did um, Carl Robertson do his pacing, so I was like, oh, this is going to be interesting. So I was hurting at this point, it was about 2k, and then I just said, you know what, you just stick with him, just stick with him, just stick with him. you, you got to like get mentally tough here, because you got to like get into this 5k mentality of running 5k and stuff like that, so I was like, okay, i got to stick with Peter, he's in front of me, get on his ass. So I freaking hold and I like drove, drove pretty hard and just like tried to stick on him, stuck on him, managed to just hold it and then like as I stuck with him I was able to like relax, relax my shoulders, just told myself to relax in my head and I just stuck on him for like like a good like long while and then we like it was all 600 meters to go and I was then I was feeling like pretty good so I was just, like stay here, stay here because he's gonna start to move and then we got to 400 meters to go and he started to like pick up the pace slightly and I just kind of like started rolling with him and I was just like stay relaxed, just keep rolling, stay relaxed, keep rolling. Came all the way around here like 200 meters to go, it was like 730 and I was like, okay, it's time to jump hammer. So I started freaking like, start pushing it, pushing it harder. And I like, came up beside him and I started driving the arms a bit harder, like moving from the hips and just like really driving through. And I just like drove as hard as I could the last 200 meters, 100 meters, just like really push it, really gap and really test like how strong he was going to come. Because I knew he was going to come strong. He did run an 800 meter earlier today, so he was a little fatigued from that. I think he could have run a bit faster if he didn't run the 800 meter. But still, it was just like, like really like test him, really push it here and just like go for gold. So I just went for it. And I think around about 8.10, between 8, 8.05 and 8.10, somewhere in there, I was like really happy with it and it was just like really good. So I was like happy that I was like really like stuck in there, mentally tough, came out mentally strong and just like came through to like be able to push it at the end for a win. It's a good That's day. great because that was one of my questions was, are you happy with it? And yeah. then what happened when Peter took over? So maybe yeah. I'll just press the question. Yeah. So you're pretty happy with that performance? Oh yeah, I'm really happy. It's been a tough week, just like taking a summer course, working, like I worked the past few days, I did summer course the past few days, four hour class, there was like seven, two 17 hour days yesterday and the day before, so it was, it was pretty tough there, I was just kind of like, just stay mentally positive about this race, it was kind of last minute, just throw it in there, see what we could do, and it like turned out really great, so I'm like, I'm really happy with this race, it's like a good one for sure. Good, what's next for you? Next to me, I was gonna race the BC High School's 1500 meter, I don't think I'm doing that anymore, just because there's too many races around that period, Harry Jerome, Victoria Classic and then we have um, Portland Track Festival after that so I'm going to skip that race go straight to the Harry Jerome 1500 national section I was hoping to get into the international section but if I haven't run that fast yeah, I haven't run that many races this season so I understand you know probably that uh, second section as long as we have a good pace I'm going to bring it out I'm going to bring it home and I'm going to try really hard so I'll see you guys out there you know what I mean good stuff yeah